you've signed up for Buildium. Congratulations! You've taken the first step toward managing properties more easily and efficiently. So you're signed up, signed into the platform, and now what? Well, to get the most out of Buildium, you'll need to start with a strong foundation. That means making sure your account is set up correctly. Today, we'll show you how. By the end of this video, you'll know how to update your company info, add your operating bank accounts, and add your portfolio. Let's get started. When you signed up for Buildium, some default information was filled in for you based on details you provided at sign up. It's a good idea to update this now, so you don't have to worry about it later. Go to settings and choose the account and billing page. Then, click edit over the account information sidebar. And from here, you can update your company name, company signature, and your company URL. It's important to choose your unique URL before you invite anyone else to your account. The URL is what everyone associated with your account will use to sign in as staff users, rental owners, or residents. Next, you'll want to go to Settings and then Application Settings, and scroll down to Application Branding. This is where you'll update your branding text and logos. This is another place where you can update your URL. With that done, let's get into the nitty gritty, your data. This includes your bank accounts, properties and associations, and residents. When you add portfolio details to Buildium, there's a specific hierarchy you have to follow. First, you need to add bank account information. From there, you can add your properties and then details on your residence for those properties. Start by going to Accounting, then Banking, and click Add Bank Account. The only information you need when adding a bank account is what you want to name it, whether it's a checking or savings account, and the country the bank resides in. Don't worry, these details won't affect your actual bank account. The purpose of the banking screen is to simply mirror the transactions that occur in the real world. Make sure to add any bank account that is attributed to your property management operations. That can include accounts like your operating bank accounts, reserve bank accounts, and security deposit bank accounts. Now that your bank accounts are added, we can get all of your properties and units into the system. Go to Rentals, then Properties, and click Add Property. First, choose the property type. You have several options to choose from, depending on whether they're residential or commercial. Next up is adding the address. Once you start typing, the form will start to show you potential matches for the information you're entering. If you're a third-party property manager, you can select the rental owner for each property. Haven't added any rental owners yet? Don't worry. Just click Add Rental Owner and enter their information. Once you save the owner info, it'll be added to your system, so the next time you need to add a property of theirs, you can click on their existing info instead of having to enter it all over again. You can also choose the operating bank account for this property from the drop-down list. And because you've already added your bank accounts, all you have to do is choose the right one from the list. Depending on the type of property you've chosen, you'll see an additional section at the bottom of the page where you can enter the units that belong to this property. Think of units as apartments, or wherever you have a specific lease within your property. Each unit can have one active lease at a time. So if you have a situation where you're renting out bedrooms to separate people, and they each have their own lease, you'd add each room as its own unit. If the unit has an active lease at the time you're starting with Buildium, click the Add Lease button to the right of each unit that has one. In the Signature Status section, because you've got a resident living in the unit, you'll choose Signed. This means you already have a signed lease for the unit. From here, add your lease details, the lease type and dates. Then click Add Approved Applicant, Tenant, or Cosigner. Just like when you added a property owner on the previous screen, you can add all the tenants included in the lease. The only required information is their name, but you can add as much info as you want right now, or you can go back and add details later. After you've added your tenant, you'll then add the rent charge, security deposit if applicable, and any other recurring or one-time charges that you want to include. If you want to add any documentation to the lease record in Buildium, like, say, the signed lease agreement, you can upload it to the Files section. You'll be able to share documents with the tenants on the lease if they have access to Residence Center. Once you've entered the info you need for the lease, click the Save button to be taken back to the Add Property page. From here, you can follow the previous steps to add any other leases for the property. Now that you've added all the leases for this property, 
go ahead and click Create Property. Now, if you just have a few properties and leases to add, this method works fine. But what if you've got a lot of properties, leases, and tenants to add? You can import them. Do that by going to Settings, then Import Data, and clicking the Upload Data File button. You might be thinking to yourself, I don't have a data file yet. Well, don't worry. Click that button and choose the data type you'd like to create a file for and import. On the page that comes up, you'll see instructions. Step one is to enter your data into our Excel template. Download that and fill it in. It's important to note that how you name things in Buildium should be how they are named on the template, right down to your punctuation and capitalization. And remember the hierarchy. The bank account needs to be added before you try to import your properties, and your properties need to be added before you try to import your tenants. And that's how you get your data into Buildium. Until next time.